Why did Thomson and Rutherford's atomic models fail? Thomson's atomic model is the simplest model of an atom showing the arrangement of electrons and protons. In this model, the positive charge of an atom is evenly distributed in a sphere and the negative electrons are embedded in it. It is also called the plum pudding model. In the year 1911, Ernest Rutherford along with Hans Geiger and Ernest Marston conducted a series of experiments with the aim of exploring the structure of an atom. These experiments were called Rutherford's scattering experiments. The experimental setup consisted of a piece of radium which is a radioactive metal placed in a lead block. The lead block had a slit to allow only a narrow beam of alpha particles emitted by the radioactive radium to pass through. The alpha particles escaping from the narrow slit were directed to a thin gold foil of a thickness of approximately 100 nanometers. A movable circular screen coated with zinc sulfide was placed around the gold foil. The alpha particles produced by the radium escaped through the slit, struck the gold foil and got scattered. The scattered alpha particles were detected by the zinc sulfide screen in the form of light flashes or scintillations. Different portions of the screen were then examined to determine the deflection pattern of the alpha particles. It was observed that most of the alpha particles remained undeflected and passed through the foil. A few alpha particles got deflected through small angles. And hardly any alpha particles got deflected through large angles or came back with a deflection of 180 degrees. These observations did not hold true to Thomson's atomic model where it was expected that the positively charged alpha particles would pass through the weak electric field largely undeflected or slightly deflected. Thomson's atomic model was discarded since it failed to explain Rutherford's observations. Based on the observations, Rutherford concluded that there must be a large empty space within the atom since most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil without any deflection. Some alpha particles are deflected to certain angles, which means there is a heavy positively charged mass present in the atom. This positive mass must be concentrated in a very small space within the atom since only a few alpha particles showed large deflections. The bouncing back of very few alpha particles with a deflection of 180 degrees indicated a direct collision with the positively charged mass of the atom. Later, Rutherford termed this positively charged mass as the nucleus and proposed it to be located at the center of the atom. Thomson's atomic model explained the overall neutrality of an atom. Its assumption that the total mass of an atom is uniformly distributed all over the atom was inconsistent with some of the experimental results. The atom as described by Rutherford's model was expected to be unstable because an electron moves in circular motion should radiate energy continuously. So, it should follow a spiral path and fall into the nucleus. 
However, the atom is actually stable as matter exists all around us. Rutherford could not explain what made an atom stable. Let us summarize. 